Hey guys, welcome to week two of a uh, VR Master League Final Assault one. We're uh, just waiting on one more player. He's loading up the game, so I'm gonna add at least one more minute to the countdown. Um, two, and right after that, we should be getting right into the game. So kind of ignore the countdown. It's just a placeholder mostly at this point. Testing one, two, three. Still robot? Let me know, let me know. Still robot. God dang it, alright. Let me see if I can fix that quick. Not <laughs> anymore. Maybe I have my mic too close, hold on. Let's try this distance. Is it a robot when I'm at this uh this distance? It might be because I'm just peeking on the mic. It's roboting because of the peak. Alright, cool. Uh, we are, we do have both players loaded in, so we're going to get right into it. Switch over to our scene in just a moment. All right, we're good to go this time. Uh, we this is as I said, Photogenier versus Ganuman. Uh, week two, season one of VR Master League Final Assault, and uh, we are on our first map for this week, uh, Corvid Pass. A very hilly and very uh, angled map, not much flat areas, and we can see uh, Gnuman is trying again, like last week, to run the Simmons uh, Infantry U.S. Division. And on the other side, we will have Photogenier on the classic uh, Wolf German Armor Division. Gnuman already uh, trying to get those high tier uh, infantry units out, is sending out the first RPG Trooper from his uh, RPG trooper, uh, trooper truck. And meanwhile, we have Photo. Uh, let's see what he's doing. It looks like he sent out a tank. Let's see if we can find where that tank is. All right, so uh, Photo is focusing on this uh, drop point over here. A very good point to also get control with artillery. Uh, main reason is he'll be able to push uh, infantry very easily once you have control of this zone. Uh, he could also possibly uh, push the artillery up to this point. 
which also not only allows him to push uh, infantry troopers, but also get some pot shots onto the tower. We see Gnumen is uh, already have a single fighter out just to allow the equi uh, infantry equilibrium to be a little more balanced. Um, but as long as that plane is flying in circles over its base, it's not going to be able to do that. Are we getting uh, no game audio again? Hold on. So I have not all tabbed during loading any of these times, but today I've been getting a lot of issues with um with the audio in the the game. So I'm sorry you're not hearing any of those good explosions or anything like that. I don't really know why this is happening um today, but. So um, we can see a heavy uh, tank and uh, walking Stuka presence in this side by photo. Cargo crate now. And we are seeing our first crate drop. Looks like the crate drop will be landing uh, where photo originally placed his first two units of the game over by this uh, ridge up here. Nope. <laughs> and I have no death perspe uh, perception apparently. Uh, it did land straight in the middle, and uh, Photo did have a single motorcycle there just to grab it quickly before Gnuma could even do anything. And he's going to lose his motorcycle to his walking Suka that is on this ridge. Speaking of walking Sukas, uh, I mean, look at this. They're already uh, attacking and bombarding the tower. This one will die pretty soon here. This double artillery will take it out very easily. And really, the walking Sukas don't do that much tower damage, at least not one by itself. But it does help the uh, infantry push. They're very good against infantry. And uh, once he takes out these dual uh, art uh, artillery defending the base, I mean, he'll have a lot more uh, pressure with these tanks coming in. You can see he's already trying to do that with the Walking Stuka coming through mid. Uh, we'll probably micro the target the artillery so that these tanks will just be able to walk right on in and do a lot of tower damage. <laughs> All their player hands are kind of blocking my views here, so I have to keep moving the camera. But, I mean, until these uh, dual artillery are dead, these tanks won't get in really uh, that far. They're getting a couple pot shots on the tower, but they're going to blow up again. Uh, no infantry, no tanks can even get close enough to the tower. They're mostly focusing on this midpoint with this single walking Stuka. A tank was here, but was blown up uh, by Gnuman's defensive tanks. But I think uh, there should be more focus on pushing that walking Stuka to kill these artillery. We now have three defensive artillery in the base. And walking Stuka do have to be kind of close to fire upon these artillery. Just a little bit. You can see that one is firing very well and actually does take out one of the uh, defensive artillery. Uh, I think it costs, or uh, Simmons costs like 11 to $12 for defensive artillery in the base. Whereas the walking Stukas are really only $15. Um, not much more expensive. For the firepower they bring forth. And here we go. We are seeing, finally, the artillery are dying. One uh, walking Stuka was taken out. But now we're seeing that it's going to get free pot shots onto this uh, tower. And at least until these tanks take it out of the base and just get a little bit, a little bit happy enough range. And they're not going to get enough range. Walking Stuka are way too fast for the tanks. Unless, unless, that was close. Uh, walking Stuka almost made a U-turn there. That would have been the last U-turn it ever made. So we uh, go ahead and look at the uh, the, the pure tower damage. Gnuman, uh a lot less towers already. I mean, at least uh, this one's about to die. The other one's uh, almost half health. And Photo has not taken a single bullet to any of his towers. It's all about map control. We're seeing a lot of tanks being thrown out by Simmons um, and Wolf. Wolf has a little bit more benefit spamming these tanks out. He is the uh, tank division. While Gnuman has to kind of focus more on the infantry. He is doing so. I mean, you see a ton of troops uh, just flooding out of his base at all times. No no pure quiet of uh, any foot shoulders at this point. Can you stop him from well, blowing up our right towers? Right all right, first tower did go down. Uh, I think it was just a suicide walking Stuka that did take it down. But that was taken out by uh, a defensive tank. We are having another crate drop. Let's see where it lands this time. Uh, pretty much the lane where all the damage is happening. So Photo will get another uh, good boost to his economy. Maybe we'll see some uh, Tiger Tanks eventually. Or maybe we'll just probably see some more spamming of the uh, Walking Stukas. 
Yep, we do see the first tiger tank coming right out of the garage. Super powerful, but also super slow. If this manages to make it to uh, Ganuman's base, I mean, I don't really know what's going to be able to stop this. There's no huge defensive pressure, except the basic tanks that Ganuman can throw at it. And all the infantry, um, like the bazooka troopers, or uh, even the uh, mortar troopers, but I don't think, I think it's going to be already too late. You see these two tanks already kind of clearing the way for this Tiger tank to eventually make its way here. And if that Tiger tank does eventually make it into its base, that's going to be devastating. But Gnuman's thinking ahead. He's got a single bomber, heavy bomber here, in the sky already. He's going to try to regain map control with this single bomber. We'll do very easily. He already has a single fire to give it a little bit more protection. Because uh, he knows that as soon as he has this heavy bomber, Photo, as he's doing now, is going to send out fighters to try to take it out. You can see they're already kind of microing, um, or I guess I should say auto-attacking the defensive fighter. Meanwhile, this heavy bomber is doing a ton of damage to all the ground units here in this lane. Look at this tiger tank. Remember, it was full health, but just purely, mostly from the heavy bomber. Got a lot of tower, uh, tower damage, but I mean, that is an expensive uh, unit to lose and kind of, uh, it's pretty painful for a wolf player to lose all that control of the ground. Heavy Bomber is still alive somewhere and kicking. Yep, a little bit less than half health. We see a uh, defensive AA in the base to allow uh, a little bit more health to this Heavy Bomber to keep going without any uh, air situations. And we're just seeing a lot more presence uh, and a lot more good micro, probably from Ganuman right now. He is going to miss that walking, uh, or the, that walking Stuka with the Heavy Bombing run due to the fact that the Heavy Bombers take a very long time the path and uh, get into firing position. But as long as this thing's alive, it's going to do damage. And we already have a second one out as well from Ganuman. So he's spending, uh, Photo is spending all his time building all these offensive fires to take out this single uh, heavy bomber, which he just finally does. But meanwhile, uh, Ganuman just keeps uh, letting, using his gold to build more. And uh, it's going to be probably more favorable for Ganuman in this long run if. Uh, Photo has to keep spawning these expensive fighters for his division. It costs like $8 per fighter for the wolf division. And they are going down, uh, especially to this defensive AA that you can see he is now pulling back. He does not want the defensive AA or the base AA to take out these fighters for basically nothing. And these uh these heavy bombers are like $25 to $26. So they do, they are they do take a lot of money to build, but I mean, three fighters lost, uh, just trying to attack this thing is probably not worth it. And Photo has had zero ground pressure in comparison. Because he's spending all his money on the air. This allows Ganuma to do a multitude of things. You can see, uh, instead of building more heavy bombers with the money he is uh, accruing over time, you see there's a lot more uh, infantry trucks in his base now. A lot more higher tier ones. We see four um, mortar truck troopers. Four uh, RPG troopers and two basic. So these are all high level troopers that take a lot more damage to take down and do a much more fire power. Speaking of uh, high firepower, looks like Ganuman is doing an artillery run or artillery barrage. And looks like he took out two, no, only one troop truck, I believe. And he only took out one troop truck on uh, Info Engineer's defensive base. But meanwhile, allowed a. Uh, Photo to focus so heavily on his base that Ganuman sent out this AA uh, toward the middle of the map to get a lot of free damage onto these fighters. Give him a little more lay room if he wants to have more fighters or more uh, heavy bombers coming out. Another thing to focus on the air is we have another crate drop, third of the game right here. Pretty impossible for Ganuman to get this unless Photo just completely forgets that he has tanks over here he can micro there. And they're set in a loop anyway, so he does actually get this. And he's using it right away to get a V2 bomber out. You can see Kanuman, he has all these troop trucks in his base, and he's got to quickly scatter them out before they reach his base. Did pretty well. I think he only lost one or two units. I think he only lost one uh, mortar truck troop, or uh, truck. Of course, there might be some uh, running into the lane. Let's see. And we do see Photo trying to send some 
sneaky motorcycles as well, but did not lose much from that. We are seeing a ton of tanks, though, coming from this lane. And at the same time, though, Ganoom and Sala and is sending out a heavy bomber. Uh, ready to send it out, I should say. And eventually, it'll make its way here and just destroy this huge line of trucks. Um, or tanks that are already here, but maybe he doesn't need to. He already has the defensive artillery up, one outside his base, doing a lot more uh, early preventive damage, and then the one in his base with that extra little kick and uh, pretty much took out that line of just tanks and walking stukas without any, without any problems. Heavy Bomber finally coming here just to give a little bit more, uh, <laughs> a little bit, get a little bit of the leftovers. Another artillery barrage from Ganuman. This time... Yeah, he's uh, going for the trucks again. I think he missed this one completely. So, he spent about 50 or so uh, gold, or dollars, um, trying to take out these three troop trucks, and only taking out one, so... <laughs> probably not ideal. Heavy Bomber's having no issues this game. Probably the ideal uh, map for the Heavy Bomber. Not enough time for these uh, Tiger Tanks to go through, at least these lanes, and uh, even when they line up in these super, like, there's nowhere to go for the, the tanks once they reach this point in these rocks, which allows the Heavy Bomber just to draw a straight line on the ground and do a single easy strafe. We are finally seeing the infantry from Ganuman's infantry division pushing close to the base. Uh, this artillery is taking quite... Yep, doing some good damage to the basic uh, infantry. And we'll probably keep this lane pushed just a little bit until at least uh, we start seeing more mortar troopers at least taking pot shots at all the vehicles that are pushing this lane. Even though uh, Ganuman does is losing the tower battle, it doesn't seem like he's losing much of uh, any other battle. I mean, he's got uh, this heavy bomber getting even closer and closer to Photo's base. We might see actually some tower damage. I would recommend he focuses more on the base AA, but maybe not. He did get some pretty good damage, took out about a fourth of this tower's health without really any uh, damage back onto the heavy bomber. So this is pretty ideal for Ganuman. Even more ideal for Ganuman, even though he didn't get the full money um, because his bar was almost already f halfway filled up. He does get that crate drop, which uh, looks like he's spawning a second heavy bomber. I, uh, I worry about Photo. It's pretty difficult now to uh, send out all these fighters. Two heavy bombers can at least defend themselves a little bit better than just one single one. And we are seeing a ground AA unit come out. Probably the best idea uh, for Photo to come back against these heavy bombers. They're very slow, about the same speed as a ground AA from the ground. So it's kind of hard for the heavy bombers to get out of the range of a, a ground AA once it's in sight. And look at that single fire taking out the rest of the damage dealt uh, from that ground AA. Another fighter taken, trying to take out this one. We'll probably go down, but took out a pretty good amount of damage. Uh, meanwhile, if we take a unit count here, we're seeing a lot more basic troops from Ganuman. Uh, originally, he had two basic troop trucks. Uh, now he's gone up to six, and they're not in his base. They're starting to slowly uh, spread like a virus outside. This lane uh, has have equal uh, infantry presence. It is going to take out this troop truck for nothing. But if we look at the other lane, it's a totally different story. Not much defensive artillery at all. Nothing to really take out these troops. We have a single fighter. Uh, we'll be able to take a little bit more damage to take out these uh, these higher tier units. We are seeing a walking stuka, but it's running straight into the lane. Oh god, that thing's going to die, and it just did. So this fighter, well, you might need a couple more fighters or the defensive artillery just to take this these uh these guys out. The first tower already went down in what seemed like little time, really. I mean, it's just infantry pushing this base, which shows you the true power that infantry can do, especially these higher level um order truck troopers, which is really that's all here. Look at all this. 
No projectiles, but I guarantee they are doing damage to the tower. Uh, just a little bit of a visual bug with the observer mode. The mortar trucks do a ton of damage to these towers. Now they'll be able to have free reign on all these uh, troop trucks inside the base on this side and the tanks that are defending. Uh, this is a pretty difficult situation for Photo. He's kind of, you can see he's kind of like, I wouldn't say panicking, but you can tell there's a little bit of stress in this situation. He's focusing entirely on defenses. Uh, let's see what Newman, uh, Gnuman is focusing on. Yeah, well, meanwhile, Gnuman, he's sending out troop uh, tanks and other units. Uh, he has a heavy bomber in there with a couple of fighters. He'll probably send all these guys in. Right away, while well, Photo is so focused on trying to defend against these super strong infantry units. So while even though uh, Simmons is seen as a very underpowered uh, uh, division right now, we do see players making it work and uh, just purely making players stress and worrying about all this uh, this plane presence. Speaking of more stress, that is an artillery barrage coming right on in, taking out those uh, couple troop trucks. Yep, took out a couple. I think it took out one troop truck and one tank. A little bit more stress. Uh, Force foe to micro all his units even more. And now we have completely the other lane bombarding these towers as well. Gnuman has complete control of the map right now. Uh, bar that middle section is only controlled by a jeep. Uh, there is a crate drop on our observer left side. Let's, no one's noticed it. I think, oh, I think Gnuman just noticed it. He's sending a tank slowly over there. Photo is finally getting units back outside his base. He is getting tanks out, but I mean, they're not getting too far. He's just trying to spend all his money right now to push these lanes out, but this just keeps allowing Gnuman to spawn more uh, stronger troop trucks. We see there's 24 mortar troops right now. A nice bombing run onto these towers from these heavy bombers. A second heavy bomber coming right in. Probably going for this uh, AA. Yep. A good use of the bombers is taking out these base AA. This one will take out the second one. So this entire right side is now a blind spot bar the, the very center middle. So this uh, this heavy bomber, any heavy bomber after it, will just have no problems getting on the right side. You can see Gnuman's even setting up another uh, full health heavy bomber for the left side ground uh, base AA. This looks pretty much over uh, for photo, I hate to say it. But without the ground AA, there's nothing to stop all the three of these bombers from coming in and just wrecking this base uh, with the mass amount of damage that they do. Final corner ground AA is about to go down, and then the last one is straightly in the middle behind the base. And once that's down, you're going to see three of these... Oh, that one didn't go down. That's, that's probably not intended. Uh, usually these things go down even with medium bombers, but... I mean, even though the bomber did go down, look at all these infantry just slowly taking out this base. I mean, you can see here, there's all letting loose, and there you go. First game of this series goes to Ganuman against Photo on the Simmons. 20 minutes uh, on Corbett Pass. Pretty good game, but I mean, from the mid game, um, it didn't seem that Photo was able to capitalize on that early damage onto those towers. And uh, he had one point where he launched a V2 rocket, spent a lot of money on really getting nothing out of it. Uh, Gnuman dodged all that, despite the fact that Gnuman also spent a lot of money on uh, artillery barrages. But really, somehow I was able to come back just from purely all the Zerg rushing of this infantry overwhelming Photo at the end. And make him completely on defensive mode at the entire time. So we're going to uh, hop right into our second game as soon as possible. We're not going to go to any uh, any splash screens, and our next map will be Maginal.
I do not. I do not. Interesting thing is, if you don't not know, these two players are very close to each other as friends. Jeez, he popped right in right away. <laughs> very nice. So we are seeing two friends face each other in a uh, a competitive league format, which is always great. We are waiting for our other player. Let me make sure I at him. All right, both players are in. Just waiting for both of them to ready up. This is, as I said, the large map Maginot. Magino. Friends IRL, enemies on the field. Exactly. All right, let's hop right in. So we're going to see the Gnuman either have a very fun game or he's going to be cursing himself to death due to a uh, possible bug that may or may not happen. We are seeing uh, Photo is sticking with the wolf character, even on this large map. I don't know if I value um, this character on these larger maps compared to the smaller maps. And meanwhile, we have Ganuman, uh, what is probably my favorite character in the game, the Nichols, uh, U.S. Air Division. We just see have Ganuman, he's just kind of spying on whatever Photo is doing. Uh, not really doing much right now. And Photo, kind of doing most of the same. Uh, we are seeing a single Jeep coming out to the middle from uh, Ganuman. Photo is sending out one, two, three, three tanks and one artillery. Get some more map pressure on what may be happening in the middle. Ganuman is, uh, looks like he did spend his money on his first level up, so we do see that. I'm wondering if uh, Photo is understanding what's about to happen pretty soon. He's sending out a lot of tanks. Maybe he's going to gear up and push super hard uh, with all the units he's building. It looks like he is about to do so. Best way to deal with Nichols, uh, especially this kind of play with Nichols, is to kind of push hard and early. But on this large map, as I said before, it's going to be very tough for a uh, German tank division to deal any damage. Because you have to rely on them getting across all this map. And tanks are very slow. We are seeing the first cargo crate of the game. Newman still has that single tank uh, in the center. Let's see if that ends up being, or uh, not tank, uh, jeep in the center. Let's see if that ends up being very good for him. He's able to quickly micro this uh, jeep around to uh, around out of the middle bridge, and let's see if he'll be able to get it. Oh, having some issues with the micro there. Or more of the pathing, I should say. Both units now have a chance. Looks like, actually, Photo will get this first crate. $15 for Photo. Very fortunate to do the, the bridge pathing there, but... We see a huge push from these armor, but it might be too late. We are seeing the... the P-38 out of its, uh, out of its home base, and it looks like it's at full, uh, firing mode. No issues here with shooting it. I'm sure Photo at this point is uh, kind of shaking a little bit. He knows what's going to happen to these tanks as well in a moment here. One more strafing run from this P-38 and those things will be toast. Tower, he is going to get a free tower though uh, with this push. So not to say he's not getting anything out of this. And these tanks are still alive. And we are seeing another um, loot crate already. That's pretty early after the last one. It did spawn uh, in directly in the middle of the map, and it looks like Photo will get the second crate as well. So he's getting a lot of money to help uh, deal with his P-38s, which he definitely needs. I mean, you can see he is doing well. He took the first P-38. Uh, Photo is using fighters, the P-38's worst nightmare. But he does have a second one out finally, and is continually bashing uh, these units trying to walk into Gnuman's base. He's going to have to deal with these fighters first, I believe, if he's going to want to keep uh, this full-on defensive mode with the P-38s, because he does have zero P-38s now. But purely just having offensive fighters and rushing with tanks and uh, these artillery is doing wonders for Photo right now. We have not even seen any, uh, any of the Tier 3 units from the Wolf Division, but really just this early pushing and uh, early fighter push is just doing a lot. 
interesting that uh, Gnuman decides to start spawning the um, group plays at this point. I guess he's hoping that the uh, the strong art uh, infantry presence will keep the lane pushed a little bit. When we, but when you have tanks continually spawning into lane, and freaking loot crate spawning into uh, the third loot crate in like four minutes, the odds of that are so low. By the way, that's a, that's a pretty insane spawning and photo getting all three, allowing to keep spamming out these units and upgrades. I think uh, I think Ganuman will want to worry about. Maybe getting a ground AA out to deal with these uh, these uh, fighters. I mean, you can also see that uh, Foe did seem to send a couple of his fighters into Gnuman's base to take out the troop plane. No longer uh, alive, and we are finally seeing Gnuman with the, the ground AA, which will do very, very well against these fighters that have been annoying his P-38s for so long. You can see Photo trying to micro his tanks to get into that base, take out all these defensive units. So Gnome is a full, uh, fully on defensive mode. Not even really keep his P-38s alive. Uh, this this AA ground AA unit is in trouble right now, almost dying by these tanks rushing in the base. I mean, we just see just so many tanks, so many artillery coming out and doing a lot of wonders. We are finally seeing the ground AA unit making its way outside the base. Fighters are gone. We'll probably see a P-38 very soon. Then we're seeing the troop plane. See, Gnuman Valley uh, highly values the troop plane, even if it's uh, before the P-38s are out. I personally uh, am a fan of having P-38s out before any troop train, uh, troop planes can even spawn. Having that defensive and offensive pressure to allow your troop planes to, or infantry to push just means more to me, personally. I mean, these, look at this. Just armor everywhere. Fighters, armor. It seems like at this point, Foe doesn't even need Tier 3 or Tier 4 units. He just needs everything that's unlocked. And he's spending all his money on everything that is already unlocked. Meanwhile, Gnuman had to spend so much money purely, purely on uh, upgrading to get these P-38s out that are not even doing that much for him right now. Very curious. I know Photo uh, hates P-38s very much. But, uh, I mean, he seemed to have found a way to counter them. That I've been telling him for many, many times. Stop building ground AA, build fighters, and maybe this is the first time he's actually seeing it. It's like Ganuman barely, just barely defending his base. It is less than health, uh, half health. Only a couple fighters left. That troop plane uh, also barely, barely alive as well. We'll probably see a fighter suicide for that. Why Gnuma is sending that uh, defensive ground AA unit out of his garage right now. Alright, a lot more breathing room for Gnuma. Uh Infantry are start spawning from this troop plane. They will do quite a bit of work once they make their way uh, to the base if they get that chance. What is this, our fifth loot crate in 7 uh, minutes 30 seconds? And it is spawning over here on the right side. Uh, Gnome has not gotten a single crate this whole game. All been going to photo. Yeah, I think that uh, paratrooper plane was actually not really spawning. I don't think this one's spawning any paratroopers right now. I think he needs. I think he's noticing that and is finally microwing it uh, toward the ground to make sure it does spawn. That's why we've not seen much uh, infantry pushing from this game. And no P-38s, there's a tank in the building. Tank is not focusing on the artillery, that's not a good thing. Oh, it's just wiped out. Oh, I hope to see another P-38 right now. I mean, look at all these tanks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in this lane right here. Line them up, line them up, boys. You can see Gnuman has that single tank there. Purely to allow the tanks just to sort of 
have them focus their fire on it, but it does not work. Uh, the Pyro is a good enough player to micro the tank, focus on the artillery to avoid AoE damage. Alright, P38 did not fire during that strafe run. I didn't notice that. So, uh, yeah, fortunately, Gnumen, <laughs> not gonna work this time. I think it's pretty much over for this game. I like the effort of the defensive uh, artillery barrage. You don't see that very often. But there's one tank, that's all the tanks you need. What? We lost? I can't believe we lost. How could we lose? Very rough game from Ganuman from the start. Loses that first crate drop. Uh, loses a P-38 to just a couple of fighters pretty easily. Fires near his base, taking out any troop plane he spawned. And then after that, just bombardment of tier 1 tanks and <laughs> the tier 2 artillery units. There's really nothing else that... Photo did not need to really pick Wolf. Uh, he mostly picked it at this point just for the cheap cost of these tanks. And it was enough. So, unfortunate for Gnumen this game, uh, but this will tie the series 1-1. One, one. Uh, this just goes to prove P-38s are not OP, and that uh, Nichols needs another buff. So, let's get into our final and third game. All right, let me go ahead and create the lobby. I had a phone call real quick I had to say goodbye to. All right, our last map of the day. Like, remember, I believe it was St. Ulrich's, yep. All right, we're good to go. All right, we have Gnumen switching up yet again, uh, this time with the Galland German Infantry Division. We see him playing uh, the Simmons US Infantry Division earlier and doing pretty well in that match. Let's see what he does with the arguably better Infantry Division. This is a very small map, uh, allows both ground units from both sides to get across very easily. And this middle area right here will be a very, uh, very important spot of who gets control first. We are seeing Gnumen, he's focusing early on with the uh, high level infantry units. Got a couple, now two bazooka trucks and one single, or two single. There's two normal troop trucks is what I'm trying to say. And my, uh, meanwhile, two basic troop trucks and a couple, uh, a few tanks from Photo. Just gearing up and getting ready. We also see the smart uh, extra fighter from both sides trying to push the lane a little bit further in their each lane, uh, respective lanes. <laughs> it's kind of funny seeing these two uh, these two fires cross paths and uh, firing at the same lane. Photo trying to bait the photo trying to bait that uh, fighter into his base uh, ground AA. Try to destroy it without spending any money. And we have the first crate drop right where uh, Newman had that single motorcycle. We are having audio issues again. So again, sorry. Uh, we didn't have last game though. So I guess that's that's a plus. Uh, we're And again, we already see Photo sending out early tank units and artillery just right down lanes. Just uh, similar to what we saw the first game. Probably even better on this map than the last map considering the map is so small. Allows these units to travel uh, even faster across to the other side. 
And meanwhile, Foe is also gearing up in the middle with a single uh, artillery. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what Gnuman does do. Combat this. Uh, looks like he had a dive bomber, I believe. Yeah, he had a dive bomber and a ground artillery. Take out that huge mass of tanks. So that's a good start already. Uh, it was taken out by a couple fighters that Photo did have hovering over his units. So uh, we see Photo very doing very well with mix, mixing up the air and ground in all, uh, both of these recent matches. These uh, artillery do need to go out, and there they go. Uh, <laughs> that's a problem when you have uh, artillery units in a lane, standing still right next to each other, firing. A single dive bomber uh, blast will kill both of them if they're so close to each other. The single tank is surviving and uh, is almost taking out this left tower, but on the right you can see uh, Photo had a single tank as well as artillery and some infantry just taking out that extra side tower. So uh, we're just seeing very similar strats this game, just a lot of heavy uh, early pushing from these tanks. We are seeing a single ground AA coming from Gnome and give him a little bit more, uh, his dive bomber with a little bit more breathing room to deal with uh, all these ground units. Pretty bizarre, uh, we have these high level bazooka troopers spawning, but they're not getting far due to this single artillery unit. That uh, Gnuman did try to send a single motorbike into the, uh, behind it, but you can see a photo also had a normal tank right next to this artillery to protect it. So even though the, the motorcycle did take a little bit of damage out of it, it was not enough to survive. Uh, but the dive bomber comes out and takes out the artillery. Hopefully the, this ground AA will get a little bit more. It's one fighter, I think almost two in general. And we have the crate drop here yet again. Photo almost got it. His motorbike was a little bit off and these two motorbikes coming right for it took them out. So uh, that is the second crate drop for Gnuman. Despite not having any map control um, early on, he has gotten the one place that does matter. And it's gotten, uh, allowed himself to get more money and uh, allow him to spam more units. We are seeing Wakastukas on this map, unlike the last one where we saw zero tier three or tier four units. Gnuman is focusing more on Bazooka Troopers. You can see it's probably scary. Not anymore, Wakastuka is down, but if uh, Photo does send another one down the middle, uh, they are pretty close to range of a walking Stuka, but you can see the uh, infantry spawning from these troop trucks are doing a lot of damage to Purely to the uh, infantry equilibrium. Both lanes are near the middle, pushing a little bit farther than the middle um, in some cases. Three tanks up on this top lane here. You can see uh, Gnuman's trying to get a little bit more control, microwing his tanks around this huge heap to take out this walking Suka first. It's gonna be a little bit more hard. One is doing pretty well for what it's doing. One more shot would have nearly killed it, not completely. Yep. That walking stuk is uh, on life support. And a stray bullet, just purely from defensive artillery, will take it out. It does take out one of the defensive artillery, but there's one, another one at full health. And uh, again, we go back to the sending tanks directly at the tower strap. Finally takes out one of the main base uh, towers from Gnuman's side. St. Ulrich, uh, Ulrich has one of the smallest uh, bases in the game. You can kind of see that. I mean, it looks so cramped with all these troop trucks. So it'll be interesting if we start seeing a V2 bombers anytime soon. Not many places for uh, these troop trucks to leave the base either when a V2 bomber uh, gets sent out. So if you time it correctly with um, units outside their base, they're just going to lose them no matter what. All right, so Photo finally gets his first crate drop package of the game uh, in the mid. Uh, Gnuman tried to send a motorbike to grab it, but it was already too late. There was a walking Stuka there and blew it up before he could uh, even attempt to do so. But all these Bazooka Troopers are slowly making their way. You can see they are doing damage to the lanes, especially that top lane where we still have more tanks just keeping, uh, keeping these infantry at bay. These poor infantry are just getting dis demolished by all these tanks. 
all these swagging Stukas, they have no chance. They try to get a few shots off, but that's pretty much all they can do. Hopefully we'll see the, uh, the classic tank destroyer pretty soon. We have not seen many, uh, dive bombers due to Photo's uh, insistence on sp uh, sending out a couple fighters to make sure that no dive, dive bombers can get close to any of the units on the map. So the best way to deal with this probably would be tank destroyers, so hopefully we see that pretty soon. A lot harder, it seems, for Photo to get into uh, Ganuman's side of the base rather than the last game. All these high-level infantry are just keeping even the tanks pushed out pretty well. In combination with his uh, defensive artillery. They are getting shot at, uh, nearly dead, by the walking Suka. And we just see Photo, I mean, he's spent a lot of money on these basic units. Uh, we've not seen any Tiger tanks coming out, might not see it. But also, he doesn't have any walking Stukas left. Pretty worrying uh, for the Wolf player. Alright, we are seeing a walking Stuka that should balance the lane a little bit more. We are seeing Photo is finally uh, sending units outside of his base yet again. Seeing a ground AA. I think uh, Ganuma is trying to get dive bombers out again, as he had earlier. Uh, which is why he's focusing ground AA outside his base, but... He's a little afraid to push it any further uh, to where these fighters by photo actually are. Good control of this hill up here. Uh, Gnu and sent a single tank there just to, in case a loot, dra uh, loot drop does come out. But I'm just seeing the more I see the walking sukas, the more I see the value of them, uh, especially in numbers. Seems like players kind of a little bit undervalued them um, in the beginning. But now all these wolf players are just ignoring the tiger tanks completely and focusing purely on these stukas. And you can see they uh, it's benefiting them pretty well. They keep lanes very pushed out and uh, doing a lot of AoE damage over time. Speaking of damage over time, we finally see uh, Gnuman's units pushing this bottom lane. Really, infantry and single artillery is all it needs. Uh, hopefully, he microed it to. Hopefully, he'll micro this artillery unit to the walking Stuka soon, because that's all that's really keeping these infantry at bay. A lot more blue on the map uh, toward the middle than red. Only a single tank in the middle and uh, a little bit of infantry on the bottom. That tower is close to go down. I think Newman highly uh, enjoys spamming out infantry. It seems like his strats heavily revolve around infantry in general. But we are finally seeing the first tank destroyer of the game. The most expensive unit that is not a uh, base V2 un uh, attack. Super long range and does a lot of damage per shot, especially against a uh, class that Wolf is playing. They call it the tank destroyer for a reason. But it also does pretty well against buildings if he decides to target those. There was a crate drop that spawned. And looks like Newman does get it on the left side of the screen. You can already see, I mean, this, this uh, tank's got a very good amount of range and it's going to take out this walking Suka in one more shot. That's very scary for uh, Photo Engineer's defenses. He is backing up a little bit just to make sure that the, the tank destroyer keeps its full range while firing on these towers and all the other units. We are seeing a second tank destroyer come out. Uh, looks like he's sitting in the other lane too. Possibly uh, purely to cause cognitive overload for uh, Photo. Very stressful trying to deal with a tank destroyer as wolf in one lane, but when you have two in uh, different lanes, I mean, it's kind of a massacre at that point. That one tank destroyer got a little too close uh, to that tower. Took a little, quite a bit of damage from walking Stukas and the tower itself. This tower on... Uh, so we are seeing the first dual tower of the game be taken down in this bottom lane. I'm pretty sure that this uh, this top lane also will soon see all its towers down. Towers are kind of the last defense against these bombardments of infantry. Walking Stukas will do pretty well against defenses, but... 
Uh oh. Walking Studios will not do well against a V2. This is what I talked about earlier. There's really nowhere they can go. And you can see here, two of them blown up. Three of them, actually. Maybe two and a half. Let's say two and a half, just to be sure. And now these tank destroyers will destroy whatever is left of them. This might be it. This is probably it for Photo. I mean, we just have all these infantry running in and tank destroyer giving them support as well as artillery. It's a lot of different masses of units, and all uh, Photo has the money for is to send out these basic tanks, so... Pretty sure this is it. We're gonna watch this uh, very cinematically go down. Fire, fire, fire. And there it is. So Gnuman in this series goes 2-1 against Photo. It was very close. Uh, both, all the games were not very that decisive. They seem very close to each other in skill level in these games. Um, a little less than the second game. It seemed like Photo completely knew what Gnuman was gonna do with the Nichols character. And uh, completely took advantage of uh, Nichols' weaknesses in that game. But uh, meanwhile, I mean, Ganuman played different characters and was able to... You can see that he's really good with the infantry-based characters. Was able to take out Photo um, in the uh, first and third game. So that'll do it for tonight. Uh, thanks to uh, Ganuman and Photo for playing these games. And thanks for everyone watching. And uh, again, thanks for Fazelock for making such a good game. I can't wait to see all these bugs ironed out. And uh, Nichols buffs. So that's it for me. I hope everyone has a great night and a great rest of the week, where there'll be more games casted, probably by me and other players. And other nerds. Goodbye.